Hello! Whoa! <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> we almost dropped the bomb. <laughs> Alright. Uh, God damn. Queens, there's no shortages of good sandwich shops and delis. Today, we're heading over to a few of our favorites to do a little sandwich tour. Sal Chris and Charlie's, Sariso's Pork Store, and King Suvlaki. We're meeting up with my longtime friend Adrian, who's actually trying all of these places for the first time. Preparing for the meat. <laughs> Bring the meats. <laughs> but one main thing they all have in common, they're all family owned and operated. Best sandwich in uh, Storia. Sal, Chris, and Charlie's. Cheers. <clears throat> Bread's very good. The uh, <clears throat> the meat's really good. It's a lot. The uh, little pepper spread they have. The mayo. It's really good. A little vinegar. Just the right amount of lettuce, you know, it's not like oozing out of the sandwich. You know, it's not very messy either. It looks very good, it tastes amazing. Uh, if I had to describe the sandwich in one word, it would be gushes. It's very good. Copyright that. A lot of new words today. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna piggyback off what he said. Obviously the bread is very fresh. Um, they get it from a local bakery. Um, they make it fresh for the deli. What I like this sandwich and Sal, Chris and Charlie so much is there's a lot of meat, but it's not to the point where it's it's falling off, you know, each side and it's like over, kind of overdone a little bit. Um, but this is the perfect amount of meat, right? And then obviously you, you know, with this specific sandwich, you get the spiciness from one, from the, from the spicy peppers, you have the sweet peppers. I like the balance there, a little sweet and savory. Um, this is their classic sandwich. I would say this is probably the go-to sandwich for, for them. I think Chris was telling us that this is what they're known for. Yeah. Yeah. And I can see why now. My name is Frank DiPaolo. Um, I came here in, to this country in 1966. Uh, we moved with my grandfather. We had a bakery, fell in love with the food. From then on, uh, we just had a passion for food. So when I became a teenager, 21, I decided to open my own business, working in a place like this as a teenager. Um, 21, I opened up my own store and uh, was just a butcher shop. And then we evolved into groceries, cheeses, uh, handmade specialties, olive oils, balsamics. Uh, fresh meats, whatever you need, need to make a nice meal at home. Uh, we even make our own raviolis, our own sausages. Um, and it brings us to this th this time in the, in the situation we're in. Business has been good. Um, can't complain. I keep all my guys employed. Uh, we try to donate some food to people. So, because, uh, uh, you know, we you guys are into the yeah to the hospitals. Right, yeah. yeah. We've been fortunate enough to to be busy, so we'd like to share that. And uh, those. All right. Frank recommended this to us. All right. Hey, let's get a let's get a shot of that. Bonus. Fresh fresh mutts. Fresh mutts. All right. So we have the fully loaded Godfather uh, from Cerisos. This is our second stop of our Astoria sandwich tour. We have the, uh, it's a little spicier. We have, we got both the sweet and, and the, the spicy, spicy peppers. peppers. You get more of the spiciness, which is good. It's actually not, not too overpowering. Um, great size. 
Yes. Yeah, again, like, it doesn't fall apart when you take a bite. Yes. Um, the meat is very thinly, it's thinner, so that's why I think it's more thinly cut, so that help, helps it hold its form. Uh, you definitely taste a lot more meat when you take a bite. <laughs> Sorry. It's a lot more meat forward, but... Uh, yeah, it's, um, no, it's you know, then there's a little bit of um, balsamic vinegar, which is a nice touch. Great, I mean, great bread, fresh bread. Um, yeah, this is a great, I mean, one of the best. One of the best in Queens. It's very good. Maybe, Everything's very Maybe thin. in New York. Maybe in the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is thinly cut. Everything is like... They're deli. They definitely have like scale, deli skills back there. It's very good. You get all the flavors because everything's like cut the same size. Yes. The bread's very good. It's like holds up well too. It's yeah, good. and like, I like the spiciness. I do. I, the I sweet, personally like I it. mean, we got the sweet peppers, the spicy peppers. You get a little bit more of the spicy, but that's okay. You know? Yeah, that's the very traditional. Like, I like to live a little Italian dangerous American. sometimes. Very good. Yes. So fun fact, uh, another fun fact. Cerisos catered when they filmed a, Bron a Bronx Tale on the street. And, um, you know, became really good friends with uh, Robert De Niro and the cast. And um, yeah, he did all the catering. And if you go back and watch the scene where, you know, where they're on the stoop and in the beginning of the movie, like, there are a couple shots where you can see Cerisos, like the signage in the back. So, you know, it's a full circle moment for me. It's one of my favorite movies. So what are you ordering? All right, so we just got the. Damn, pages. you're so white, bro. My I'm bad. Sorry. God damn it. <laughs> Yo, my man. My man is good. My man is right. translucent. What are you ordering? All right. Um. All right. So we just did the pita sandwich. This is the traditional uh, go-to. You know, in Greece, very popular. So we're gonna debunk right now. Is a pork pita sandwich souvlaki a sandwich? I think so. Is a pita a sandwich? I just take chicken over rice. Chicken over rice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but is a pita a sandwich? Is a souvlaki? Would you consider that a sandwich? Is yeah, it's a. Sandwich. It's a sandwich. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. a sandwich. Oh, he says it's a sandwich. Three, three. Three for three. Three for three. All right. We all said the same thing. <laughs> he got the. What'd you get? What, what did you get again? Chicken of uh, chicken and uh, lamb. Chicken and lamb. All right. Yeah. Next time we'll do that. <laughs> all right. So, third and final stop on our sandwich uh, story, a sandwich tour, right? Yeah. King souvlaki. Dude, we got the protein, we've got tzatziki, we've got fresh fries, okay, just a dash of oregano in there, top it off, fresh onions, and then of course the, uh, you know, pork. Yes. Right. Cheers. I can know it, yes. Take his walk, you know. Wow. I mean, this is just as good as you'll find in Greece. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, yes. <laughs> I'm speechless. I think we found out who, uh, <laughs> best sandwich in uh, Astoria. Hot take, hot take. The best sandwich in Astoria, right here? Wow. Hot take. They're all different in their own in their own ways. I love you all. <laughs> I mean I think it's the best Yido, you know, you know pita soup pita sandwich, souvlaki sandwich, um, in New York. It's different though. Because a cold cut sandwich. Yeah, it's obviously it's two different things, right? It's yeah, two, of, yes. You know, this is warm. This is also to the, you know the bun, the pita's toasted. It's obviously you know it's souvlaki. It's the pork souvlaki. You, know, you get fries, so it's a different sandwich. But you know, different occasion. Yeah. I think this one you can eat it more on the go. I think, uh, for instance, uh, Cerisios or Chris, South Chris and Charlie's. South Chris and Charlie's. You kind of have to sit down or like take your time with those. This is more grab and go. I think so. Those are better for sharing. But it's not a thing I can share with anyone. Sorry. I'm interrupted by the train. 
Welcome by the MTA. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like you said, different occasions. Um, this can be. This is this is a good option for like lunch, for dinner, for after uh, the bar. Yes. Right. Late night for a baby shower. For a birthday party, I mean, get you know, get all your uh, yeah. your <laughs> your, yeah. your occasions catered. Why not? Your girlfriend dumps you. Your girlfriend dumps you. Come and get some yeah. king yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. But it's pretty damn good. That meat is magical. A special thanks to Sal Christian Charlie's, Cerisos, and King Suvlaki for letting us film with them.